Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of my flipping series. This is going to be the pre-recorded portion where I go over the uh, flips that I made while actually throughout the week without being live. Um, as you can see, I did sell those uh, seeds that I got for being Master Rank 10, and I found a decent sale on the um, worn sales. Even though, you know, they're a pretty easy item to get, you can get them from the hub, they do uh, still sell on the marketplace if you can find those flips. The next item that I saw was a Chaos Rod for 4k, and the next one was 4.2k, and then the one after that was 5k, and they're 5k for pages and pages. So what I did was I bought one for the uh, 4k, that way I can sell it for 5k and make a thousand profit off of it, as well as the Molten Rods. Uh, I bought one for 5k, the next one was um, 5.2k, I believe. Um, so, you know, those easy flips, you just got to look out for them. It could be any item. Again, Warren sales, they're, you know, very cheap uh, at the hub, but you can still just go in the marketplace, find those deals, and still sell them. So there we go. I got one Warren sell for four, uh, 500. I'm selling them for 500 each. So I have the one and then the molten one. The molten fishing pole sold for 6K. Like I said, I made 1K off of that. So what I did was I grabbed that flux and I went over and found the pumpkin box mag rider. As you can see, uh, the one that I buy is 7.8k, and then it just goes up to uh, 8k and then 8.4k. Um, so what I do here is I buy that one for 7.8k and I post it for 8.4k. So, you know, that's 600 profit uh, just for that one item, and it did sell very quickly as well as you can see. So there we go. All I had left really was the chaos uh, rod. Um, so I'm searching for more items. As you can see, there's seven bobcats for 500 flux, and then the next one is 100 for 8,000. So you can see that's a very good deal. I got them for less than 100 each uh, when the next ones are, you know, about 80 each. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell these guys for uh, 100 each. Um, I'm also looking for rare allies. Rare allies have a bigger profit margin. Um, as you can see right here, the showed servitor is 8k and the next one is 9.4k, so that's an easy 1.4k flux just sitting there waiting to be made. <laughs> um, so, you know, that's basically what you gotta do. You just gotta, you know, look out for all those items. I also look out for, you know, the common items like uh, trophies. As you can see that I had one for 100 and the next one is 200. That's an easy 100 flux. Even though it's just 100 flux, it, you made that 100 flux with no effort at all. Um, and there it is, I sold the ally the Schult Servitor actually in like a minute. Uh, there was barely any cutaway right there and I made 1.4k flux off of it. So I'm looking for more uh, rare allies. So the next one I'm going to look for is the Feisty Flame Dancer. And as you can see again, 8k. The next one is 9k and the one after that is 10k. However, I'm just going to sell mine for 9k because I was done at the end of the night for this one. So I just wanted to make sure that I uh, got the flux when I logged back in because as you can see, the cash rod is still in my uh, marketplace. That was a little harder of a flip. So I had to go back and just sell it for what I bought it for. I I bought it for 3k. I was trying to sell it for 5k, but uh, it just wasn't working out. So I, I foregoed it and I just took the flux back uh, instead of, you know, having it in there forever. Um, so the next item I bought was the Wish Fisher. As you can see, I bought it for 15k. And this is also going to be the last item that I buy. I'm selling it for 19k. Um, and I also found a couple of stacks of primal uh, blocks for 100 flux each when the next one goes for 200 flux each. So that's 100 flux. 150 flux per that I made, so that's 300 easy flux. Um, again, it all adds up. But that is going to be it for the pre-recorded version. I hope it wasn't too bad because, again, I'm not really too good about doing these voiceovers. But let's get right into the live portion. Hey, guys, and welcome to the second video in my uh, 1 to 1 million series. This is going to be the live portion of the video. Like I said, I want to keep a live portion in each video to show you guys, you know, how to flip a certain market and... Um, you know, show how I would do it in like a five minute period. Um, so let's go ahead, let's collect the stuff that I have uh, flipped already. Um, I will be providing, or I should have provided clips to show you guys, you know, the flips that I made uh, in between the two videos before this live session. I did buy a Wish Fisher for like 16k and I sold it for almost 20k, so that was some profit right there. Um, so the market we are going to be cornering right now is going to be Steed Feed. So as you can see, Steed Feed is about one to. Uh, 12 right here next one is 1 to 13 and then it goes to 1 to 15 on the next page um so what i would do is i am going to buy out hopefully if we have enough all the 1 to 13s um and we're gonna go up until we hit the 1 to 15s then we can sell them for two flux profits each um 
And that's pretty much how I would go about it. Uh, let's see. Actually, need to calculate this one, see if we have hit 1 to 15 yet. Uh, I could do the basic math in my head, but uh, I really just want to be safe with it. <laughs> um, so, let us see. Let's open up a calculator on my phone real quick. So, we'll go 4500 zero, zero, divided by 300. And that says 1 to 15. So, here we go. We are at 1 to 15. So, uh, as you can see, I barely spent like 10k. Um, and we're now 1 to 15. I bought for 1 to 12 and 1 to 13. So, what I would do since I have four spaces and this is a 600 stack, I'm going to post two or, yeah, two for 200. And then, um, a couple for 100 and just, you know, the random amount that we have left. Or one for 100 and the random we amount we have left. Uh, sorry, this is a little unorthodox. Um, like I said, this is like the first time that I'm live recording a flipping uh, session. And it's kind of, uh, it's, it's kind of new because I, even though I do uh, Let's Play videos, which are live, uh, this one I have to, you know, do math and then, you know, <laughs> talk at the same time. Um, so we're going to actually do one more 200. And we will do the 71. That was almost a mistake. We will do the 71 times 15. Um, right now, 71. So that'd be 1065. So we will post for 1064. And whoops, we gotta put that in there first, right? <laughs> so there we go. Now we have all that seed feed. And now we're just gonna search for a little bit. Again, this isn't going to be too long of a live session because I just need to show you guys, you know, how I would flip. So the Steed Feed, Steed Feed's a little slower. Not many people uh, sell Seed Feed. Like, say, Radiant Shards, Radiant Shards, people are posting, you know, like every second of the day. <laughs> every time you click search, there's going to be a new post uh, posted up for Radiant Shards. Seed Feed's a little slower. Um, but, you know, it's the same concept. I bought out all the ones underneath 1 to 15, and now I'm selling them 1 to 15. So I rose the market price. The market price was 1 to 12 when I first uh, showed you guys, and now the market price is 1 to 15. So I basically manipulated the market and raised the market. And now you can see I already sold one stack, and that's pretty much how quick it goes. Uh, again, with Steve Feed, it's... Uh, it's going to take a little longer to profit if you are going to stop this close. Like, it, I just stopped at 1 to 15. I could probably go farther into, you know, 1 to, you know, that's 1 to 19. We might be able to do that in this session right now uh, if we can sell these guys quick enough. But, you know, it's the same concept. You just, you post, you buy out everything that's underneath your market price that you want to set it to. And then you post your items up and then you just wait for the, uh, you wait for somebody to undercut you. Um, again, Steve feeds a little longer, like I said. <laughs> um, but once we sell all these out, once I sell, you know, the ones for 3K and 3K and 3K, um, I'll have, you know, 2K profit. And I've been doing this for, you know, two minutes. So that's, you know, a thousand flux a minute. <laughs> um, and then we can most likely keep going. That's 5K. I want to make sure that I have enough flux, though. Because, again, uh, I am showing you guys starting from basically zero flux. So we don't have too much flux. If I was on my main account and I had 200K flux, I could probably raise the market all the way up to, like, 1 to 25 each. Um, but, you know, 1 to 17 seems decent. That's already two flux over what I have. Uh, I just don't have the flux right now. Because that will be a whole stack right here. Um Maybe, maybe we can raise the price to 1 to 17. It seems plausible if we can sell this last stack. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, again, this is just, you know, what I would do. I would just sit here, click search, click search. It's a boring video, I know, but this is how you make flux. Um, and you guys asked for it a lot. And it's pretty simple, it's pretty simple. You just, what I recommend is having a calculator with you, just in case you have those uh, random values. Like, these are obviously 1 to 15, you could just do, you know... 150 divided by 10 is 15. Um, 300 divided by 400 or 4,500 is 15. Um, and you can basically do that for those ones. But like the 71 stack that I had, uh, that's a little harder to tell. So you might as well just have a calculator in your in your hand or something. And you know, do 71 times 15 and so you can know your price. Um, and that's, again, CFA is a little slower. So that might just be it for this one. Uh, we already gained, you know... 2k flux because once I sell this I'll have you know the uh, 20,000 plus you know 2k which is what I started out with uh, was 20,000 almost I started like 19,500 or something <laughs> um, so that's basically the first video for the live session again see if it's a little slower so maybe the next one we can do a little faster uh, moving items to where you know we can we can show you know search by search by search by and show the competition because there's a lot of competition in those faster moving uh, items and also, again, I kind of mentioned 
this is only you know the first s section if i had more flux i'd raise the price even farther um what I do is I go in in sections. I would do you know raise the price one to fifteen. Make sure that it all sells for that price, so so I know it's not too expensive. Then I'm gonna raise the price further. I'd go one to seventeen. Make sure all the stuff that I bought out sells for one to seventeen, and so I know that it's a good price for that uh, item. And then I can go you know one to nineteen, and I'll just keep going. Um, common price to common price. And that is how I usually flip on my main account when I have a lot of flux. And we will get there eventually. Obviously, we only have 20k, so we can't do too much in terms of manipulation. Right now, we're just buying out all the cheap ones and selling them for, you know, a, a decent price, not an expensive price. Um, but yes, that is going to be it for this one. Next week, hopefully, we'll get into Radiant Shards. Radiant Shards, I took a look before the video, and they're kind of, uh, they're kind of set in stone right now. Let's we can check right now, maybe. Uh, or right here, like, you would buy this stack out because this is 1 to 3.5, and then you can see the next ones are, you know, 1 to 4. So with this 1,000 stack, I would sell 1 to 4, and I bought it for 3.5, so I would make 500 flux off of, you know, the, the 10 seconds that it took me to post this. Um, so we'll go 3998, and there we go. We just, you know, I... I I went into a different market, which I wanted to, you know, stay one market per video. But, you know, I just wanted to show, you know, search different markets. You don't have to just stick to one. Um, and then you can, you know, find deals like that as well. Um, but, yes, that is going to be it for this video. Remember, if you guys are enjoying the uh, flipping series and you are excited for the next ones to come, leave a like on this video. But besides that, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will see you guys next time.